Hi guys, welcome to the bench. Today I am going to review uh, this OEP 8 dub watt uh, class D amplifier board. This is very uh, small amplifier board as you can see its size of my thumb. Also it's working wide range of voltage you can see it's working on the mention that board it's working from 2.5 volt to 9 volt also, uh, and maximum output power is 10 volt uh, in 4 ohms load this is the front view of the board so you can see it's wait for focus focus uh, you can see it's mentioning the okay my focus this yeah you can see it's mentioning oep 8w okay wait wait uh yeah you can see now it i think you can see it it's mentioning oep 8w i'm sorry it's uh, difficult to focus tiny you can see it's very tiny letter okay anyway it's mentioning oep 8w on the chip this is class d Okay guys, we are going to do some soldering before the test this uh, ECB. Solder is done. Now we we are going to connect this Bluetooth device through the wire to the this amplifier board. This is the how look like after the solder in the PCB. Mm, yeah, it's quite nice. <clears throat> so guys now we are done the soldering now we are going to run some audio test so let's get started um, so you can see it's 5 volt actually 5.4 volt so I'm going to steady make it to 5 volt Five volt. Now I'm going to connect the power connection. This is negative. This is positive connection. Sorry. And this is my trusted Bluetooth receiver. So I'm going to connect that also. This is mono connection, not a stereo amplifier. So so okay. And this is my speaker. It's, uh, 10 watt form slot. So I'm going to connect that also. So guys, now we are going to run some audio test. Uh, input voltage is 8.1 volt. So let's get it start.
the simplifier doing a good job in the wide range of voltage but uh, when it's increased the maximum to the maximum volume there is some distortion of the sound but in the middle and uh, low low volume it's doing great so that's all for the now guys see you in the another video bye bye